wanted to paint Jesus, the resurrected Christ, for a long, long time. And I came across this model, I think over a year ago, but I just wasn't ready to do it. So today I'm ready. Now I have never done exactly what I'm going to try this time before. I've been painting all these years, and I'm going to try something a little different today. So my strategy is that if I keep the area around the figure dry, the paint won't go there. So I want to stay outside of my edge. So obviously I don't want to cut the watercolor paper. I'm thinking of a halo effect around his head because he's Jesus. So if I start doing this and it goes all haywire, I'll just dry it. But I think this will work. I can lightly score this without so so this is going to be a shield from the color that I'm planning to spray on and like I say before I get a ton of time into him I'd like to try this rather than have him all beautifully painted and then try this because once you've worked the paper, it becomes, well, we remove some of the sizing, and it's harder to control where the color goes. I got a little bubble here that I didn't really want. I'm thinking, <laughs> we'll see. I think I may get to a point where I lift this up <clears throat> and uh, paint next to it. But, like I say, I've never done this before quite this way. So it's like, well, we'll see what happens. And it would be easier to redraw it than ruin a great painting later. Right? This will not keep the color from going underneath because I haven't sealed it. Like I say, I could mask the edge, but I don't want a hard edge. There. When I started this, I had two bottles of paint that were already mixed and one looked kind of orangey and one was more of a blue and you had seen there when I sprayed them on the paper they just looked way too watery. You need enough saturation in this to do the job. So I'm adding some of the Dr. P.H. Martin's Fine Art Watercolor and some watercolor from my tubes. In a minute here I get the painting out of the way so I don't have any accidents but I just continue to add saturation to them and then in a second here I'm going to do a test and you'll see but it doesn't matter what color you use as long as it's saturated more orange I was going to make this darker too so what do we got? I need a darker blue. Alright, I got some Indanthrin. This is a core color Indanthrin. This should be good.
color. That's color. Okay, that's good. I love some of the backgrounds I see on oil paintings, and that's what what got me thinking about all this. Give myself a little more room. The board, you can see it. Okay. Again, Holy Spirit, please help me out here. Let's see, I'm going to untape my edges. Now my paper is dry. It hasn't been wet before. <laughs> this could just be a horribly bad idea. Um, I thought about putting masking tape around it, but I don't, I, then I can't see if it's seeping under. So, then it gets some parts wet out there. I want to start with my light color. kind of push it with the spray. Of course I avoided his head a little bit. I'm hoping that because it's dry near him that it won't go over. If you don't try stuff, how would you know if this would work, right? I'm spraying my scissors and God, everything's getting sprayed. I haven't sprayed myself yet. some more water in to mix, but I don't want it to go, you know, under my paper. Mix a little bit more. And because I've got all this water on here, I'm not going to, I know what I can do, I can block, because I got a, I got a river. Oh, look at, that creates texture, doesn't it? Oh, look how cool it looks. So maybe that's what I should do, just wipe. Maybe I should wipe away. Oh, okay, that's cool. Cool. 
cleaning and wiping. I love what it's doing to the paper. Leave some unwiped and blotted. I don't know what his skin looks like at this point. That looks cool too. Let me stir this up a little bit and get a little red in here. coming out from the paper. I like it. I like it so far. Okay, get some of this water off of here. So the color you put down first is definitely coloring the paper. I'd like to see a little more orange over here. how I'm going to transition this to my body, but I'll figure it out, I hope. Hmm. Well, that's different. Maybe I'll leave a few of those. I think I want a little more this color here. What I'd kind of like to do is remove this and then put a water edge to soften right into that. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't think I like all the spritzy look. I like the smoother. And remember, it's going to dry really light. I wonder if that will give me enough darks, you know. Wish I had a black mixed. I know that these are um, complements, so it's going to give me a gray. And if I want to do like a halo, what if I just blot out around? I think I probably want to soften that, don't I? Yes, before this gets dry. This is cool. I like that right there. This is going to be the hand we're really focused on. Probably want to be a little bit darker right here. I should, I should have uh, covered everything with a rubber sheet, I guess. Oh, I think it looks awesome. bigger chunks of color. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting wet underneath. All right, we got to abort this mission. Okay, carefully, carefully, carefully get it off of there. Okay, Jesus. Now, I'm going to soften this. 
I'm just going to soften this edge up to my pencil. Maybe kind of late with this. Be careful. Lines, careful. You know what I can do? I can paint color in here. Let me just, I want to keep, I want to get this wet and soften this edge a little bit. Wish I could be everywhere at once. What if I float an orange so that I'm putting some pigment? Try and lose that hard edge. I'm going as fast as I can. I guess I could have sprayed the... No, I couldn't have. It would have gone on his hair. I need to make in my palette puddles of this, these colors that I've been using so that I can use them now in here. Yeah, I wish I could be everywhere at once, but I can't. whole thing might have to turn into a halo. I'm dampening out here a little bit so that I don't create another hard line. That's working. So where I'm, where I'm uh, got the hard line, I'm going to let it bleed out like it's supposed to be there. Uh, let it bleed out, kind of, kind of fuzz that 
hard edge. Right here I did a pretty good job. Let's bring some of this out. right there. All right. So what the heck is that? What I need to do is wet out past a little bit and then drop more color and see if that works. So let me get my burnt sienna. Watercolor is really made for something like this, isn't it? So I'm going to use a combination of, this is too hard, combination of scrubbing and then dropping in more pigment to try to soften this edge. If you scrub and you don't blot, you can get some, um, you know, softening. So I'll go into some uh, endanthrin because that was in my color mixture. I just would like it to go out and I don't want to spray that, that's too risky. So right here, right here. Okay, this halo is going pretty good up here. So we gotta soften this. Well, you don't, I do. Force water into it. Get it moving. Love that orange along there. Let me try a little of that. Too much red. Too much pink. His hair, hmm, it's going to have some orange in it. That looks cool. So I'm actually making it darker where my line is. Why not? Make it look like I wanted it there. You know, when you when you can't hide something, make it part of the painting. Like you wanted it that way. like his um, skin was just like on fire because he was just charged with the Holy Spirit. Got some stuff to clean up there but now is not the time. I hope I'm going to be dark enough. I've seemed, I've seemed to be drawing really lighter than I wanted but it's probably going to be enough contrast because he's going to be dark so it, I really don't want my background super dark. Anyway, if I get my background dark and my foreground is dark, it's flat. So, I didn't want a light background. 
because his skin is pretty light, like on his face and stuff, and his hands. So a mid-gray contrast is always a really safe way to go. So I'm putting my water on here. His, his body is dry. Um, getting this good and wet. Leaving it kind of puddly. Just letting the water do the work for me. When it gets some, kind of, his arm got a little thinner right there. I might want to. So I'm actually using my scrubby to apply the paint. I'm sorry, apply the water. I, I am getting some, um, you know, paper. I'm hurting my paper a little bit. And I'm getting a little bit of um, paper shreds in my water. And I, I just have to ignore them. I can't be screwing around with that. So different colors here in his halo working outside. Maybe a little brighter yellow in this part. Oh, right there. Maybe a little brighter yellow. As long as I don't get green. just go good and other things don't. That got green right there. I don't want green. So I want to add some pink to that. Right there. Don't be messy. Don't get slobby. Come on, come on. Okay, so I want to come out here, pull this out, and then I'm going to go a little darker. Some indanthrin and some... I don't know. It looks pretty good the way it is. Come out here. And then I'll just use the brush to pull that out a little bit. Oh, man. Okay, a little more orange in here. You just have to ignore all those paper lumps. Now this, like down here, I can probably, yeah, I can still get that to move. I can still put water in here and pull out a highlight. Here I have a bit of my line showing still. So I'm going to throw a little more around. Uh, I'll put some bird sand on there. Right there, right along that line. And see if that'll sit on that line for me and disguise it a little bit. Get this a little bluer. As soon as I put water here, that color just cr crawls over. Look at that, it just moves. Once I get it softened, it seems to work well to put the orange in. I want to push that out. I want to, I mean, I want to soften that edge right there so that disperses for me. Okay, I put some water inside. Right there, right there. Move out, move out, move out, move out. Break that line so it's not so straight.
Okay, so this is damp. This is damp. This is damp. I want to scrub that. So I want to soften and then add color and water. Burnt sienna, maybe a little orange in it. Oh dear. So on the other side, I've got um, some orange on the inside. Let me try to get a little on here. That looks cool. Oh, it came down on his hair. It would be cool to have another halo right here. Very subtle. So I wanted to use the same camera in daylight and let you see this texture better. Uh, you can just see here what wasn't showing up so well from a distance. I'm sure I'll probably touch up some parts of it, but I just think I just think it turned out so amazing and I got that texture that I wanted and I've started his face. So there's the beginning of his face. And you can just see how successful that was. Thanks for watching.